Today we're going to be talking about part two of the 50 years of hip hop and 50 years of Bodhi with Run DM Cheech. So back to back episodes of Cheech Wizard and Mark Bodhi. Who couldn't ask for better collectibles to talk about on No Hype? So again, celebrating the 50 years of hip hop, I thought it was only right that I talk about something I didn't get to talk about when it dropped in 2021, I believe. Uh, I believe this came out in 2021 or sometime last year. Ultimately, we're in 2023, and the only reason I was able to cop these is because I found them on sale, luckily. I wanted to cop these initially when they first dropped, but there's only so much time and so much money, but enough of that. I was able to get not only one, the blue, but I also got the OG. We spoke a lot about the importance and significance of Vaughn Bodie and Mark Bodie in the world of hip hop and how they help shape the culture and imagery of street art and graffiti. Way before hip hop even existed and graffiti was such a hip hop thing. Because graffiti existed for centuries, people have been writing on walls forever, but in the way that we know it now, it hasn't and wasn't really born until the 70s, maybe a little bit before with New York and the street gangs and yada, yada, yada. I mean, you can go Google the history or watch a documentary. There's tons of them. Everything from a lot of the lettering to even putting characters with the graffiti comes from the art of Von Bodie, who crazy enough passed away after hip hop's inception, which we now know that Von Bodie created the Cheech Wizard character in 1957. And it just blows my mind how from 57 until the 70s and 80s, this thing fell into the world of hip hop and many, many artists copied this and used it and paid homage to it and sampled it, right? Because the crazy thing about hip hop is hip hop came from nothing, right? It came from a bunch of people who had nothing, who used whatever they had to create something as incredible as hip hop. And basically what I'm trying to say is you had DJs who had their parents' record collection, right? And who sampled them because they couldn't afford instruments or who made, who took the breaks in these records and played them back and forth and back and forth because that was the type of music that they wanted, but they created it using other people's art. And the same with the Cheech Wizard character. A lot of people did the same thing. So the folks at UVD Toys teamed up with the Bodhi Estate and they created this super dope Run DM Cheech, which is like a homage to Run DMC and Cheech Wizard at the same time. And you have the Cheech Wizard character who has the dookie rope and has the Kazell glasses or the Goliath glasses. I forgot, I get them too confused. If you know, leave it in the comments. And it has the, you know, the wizard hat with the legs, the classic Von Bodie Cheech Wizard style. And it has some Adidas shell toes with fat laces. I mean, this thing is a B-boy till the death. Also comes with this two inch boom box. So you have the six inch Cheech, Run DM Cheech figure, and then you have the two inch boom box, but it also comes with a three inch B-Bird, which is like super fire. This whole thing is super dope. And I'm so happy that I was able to get both colorways. Now all I'm missing is the third colorway, which is still available on the, I got this from Tenacious Toys, so it's still available on the Ten Tenacious Toys website. There are only 350 of the OG colorway made. I'm not sure how many were made of the blue, but the red one, there was 250 of those made. You know, I'm a completist, so I'm probably gonna have to track down the red one at some point soon. Now the blue one is, of course, just like the OG one, except it's blue with different shades of blue and different colors. And instead of a gold dookie rope, he has a silver dookie rope or a platinum dookie rope, however you want to call it. Also comes with a boom box, which is called Shaggy the Boom Box and a blue bee bird, which is another Von Bodhi character or is it a Mark Bodhi character? I'm not sure which one who created that one, but I'm pretty sure it's probably Von Bodhi. It's a Von Bodhi character. Well, it's a character by one of the Bodies that has the Cheech style body, except it's a bird with the big legs. And this one doesn't have kicks, but it is wearing 
looked like a beanie. They retailed for $135. And as far as resell is concerned, I didn't even bother looking it up again because it's just not one of those pieces for me. To me, it's a piece of like hip hop history and I just love having it in my collection and I can't wait to display it. Now, as far as the packaging is concerned, no details were missing on this packaging. This packaging is full of like retro 80s style graffiti, Run DM Cheech branding on here all over the place, Shaggy the Boombox and B-Bird on the back of it. And for both colorways, they're the same. And I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that for the, for the red colorway, it's also the same. Again, this is just such a dope collectible, such a dope piece of hip hop. And I'm so happy to have it in my collection because honestly, when you tell the story of hip hop, you have to tell the story of the B-Boys and the DJs and the rappers, but also the graffiti artists because they are what make up hip hop and you have to tell the story in its entirety from the beginning and you can't tell it without the contributions of artists like Von Bodie and Mark Bodie who I'm pretty sure that when Von Bodie created this character the Cheech Wizard character had no clue it would turn into what it did for many many years to come after his passing thanks for watching make sure to like comment subscribe follow me all over social media and if i missed anything and if you have anything to add to the conversation please do because we're forever learning over here on no hype peace